Hello everyone and welcome to this video on how to make kombucha. What you're looking at is a scoby. The scoby is a slippery slimy thing but it is important in the fermenting process of making kombucha. So I'm taking it out with a pair of tongs because it is really important to be super sanitized when you're touching it. You can touch it with your hands but um, they need to be super clean. So the scoby has a mother and a daughter. So what I'm showing you right now is the mother and it grows over the few weeks of fermenting. So this little bit here that I'm pulling back is the daughter and eventually that'll get as big as the mother and you can separate them and that's how you can share your scoby with someone else. You'll also need a cloth to cover it, to cover the jar and a elastic band just to secure it. The other ingredients are tea. So you need just plain black tea and then a flavor of some sort. So I've chosen lemon and ginger. So you use about five black tea bags and then I use about three to four lemon and ginger tea bags, depending on how strong I want the flavor. And then a cup of sugar. I have heard that you can also use honey. You just need some sort of sugar for the um, SCOBY to feed off. Then you boil the liquid with the ingredients. So the liquid is just water, three liters worth. Once it's completely cooled, um, this is probably the trickiest part, is trying to pour it into the jar without spilling. Um, so you pour it in there and you let that sit in a cool, dark place, like your pantry, for one whole week. And so the scoby will just sit in there and feed off the sugars and grow a little bit. And we use cloth so that it can breathe. So a lid will um, stifle it of oxygen. You can also use any kind of canister as well. I use this one because it has the tap on the end, but anything that can hold about three liters of liquid. So I've been making it for around two months now and um, we really like it. It's really good for your digestion because it has all the good bacteria inside the drink. Once your bottles are filled up, you place them in the refrigerator and you can enjoy them over the next week while you make another batch of tea and you repeat the process. Um, the SCOBY needs to stay in a little bit of the leftover liquid just while you make a new batch. It cannot be left out to dry. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below um, if you make kombucha and if you do it differently, maybe you add different flavors. I'd love to hear about it. Also, would love it if you would subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video.